no matter how many times I sit, I sit down to film, for some reason, like, the first sentence always still feels awkward to say alone in a room by myself. You guys asked for it, and I listened. Today's video is completely based off of comments that you guys have been leaving in my Battle of the Drugstore makeup videos asking for more cruelty-free brands, which I absolutely love. I love that that is something that is really important to you guys, and I wanted to take on the challenge of doing some Battle of the Drugstore beauty product videos using only cruelty-free brands. If you would like to see more of these cruelty-free only videos, I would really like to know in the comments down below. Your feedback is really important to me. It really helps me sort of decide what videos I'm going to be putting out every single week. But today, like I said, we are going to battle foundation and I actually found it surprisingly hard to find the foundations for this battle. I had to go to four or five different drugstores and an Ulta just to find four different cruelty-free foundations. It was sort of an interesting process for me, honestly, to have to step back and look at which brands and really more just how many of my favorite drugstore brands are cruelty free which is honestly kind of a bummer but I found four foundations some that I think are really really great so let's do this let's go ahead and jump into our first ever battle of the cruelty free foundations from the drugstore First into the ring, we have the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation, which is going to cost you about $9. Now the first thing that I will tell you about this foundation is not for us fair-skinned ladies. I got the lightest color, 01 Creamy Vanilla, and it is super dark. But jumping into this foundation, it comes in a really nice glass bottle with a pump dispenser, and it claims that it is going to give you full coverage and a water-resistant formula. Despite the fact that this color is not suitable for my skin, let's look at application. The the foundation is quite full coverage. It really does what it claims it's going to do. It covers up redness, it covers up your imperfections all in one application. Once this foundation sets, it looks really quite nice. Even though it's full coverage, it really has sort of this nice natural look. Now as far as wear, this foundation literally doesn't budge for at least 10 hours or longer. It's seriously like a bulletproof foundation and that has some pros and some cons. The pros are obviously that it stays put and even though I didn't test it out, I would bet that this thing is waterproof. You can just tell by the way it feels on your skin. Now the cons about that is this foundation kind of feels uncomfortable on your skin. It's one of those foundations that you can just always feel it, like you always know it's there. So you have some pros and you have some cons, but at the end of this day, this foundation does give you really nice full coverage and it lasts pretty well. You get nine to 10 hours or even longer with this before it starts to finally break down. Next into the ring, we are going to test out the NYX HD Studio Perfection Photo Photogenic Perfection. What is this? HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. This thing costs a surprising $18, which just seems like a lot for a drugstore foundation to me. It comes in eight different shades and in a plastic tube bottle dispenser. The foundation claims that it's peptide infused high definition formula uses light diffusing technology to enhance the appearance of your silky smooth skin and it's supposed to give you the picture perfect look. The foundation is sort of like a light to maybe a light medium coverage. The wear is fine, it's comfortable to wear. It stays put for about six to eight hours before I found that it started to sort of break down. For me, this foundation was just kind of eh. It didn't really do anything special for me. I thought it made my uh, skin honestly look a little bit dull, and it wasn't really a ton of coverage, which is fine, but if you want something that's less coverage, if you want more of like a lightweight sort of look, then I would honestly reach for some really great tinted moisturizers or some of my favorite BB creams. It wasn't all that long lasting, and it didn't make my skin look all that great. Our third contender into the ring is the Physician's Formula Nude Wear Touch of Glow Foundation, which is gonna cost you $14 or $15. It comes in this really adorable little pump dispenser and it claims that it's weightless fluid foundation gives a illuminating veil of radiance while giving your skin just the right amount of coverage. They claim that it's supposed to look really natural. It also comes with this little brush, which I guess is a nice addition, but I honestly never really bother with the brushes that come with foundations because I never find them to be all that great. As far as the formula of this foundation, it's very liquidy and lightweight, but also very buildable. You can build it up to a nice medium coverage. It has almost a shimmer to it, but it's not detectable on your skin when you're wearing it. But instead, that shimmer sort of ends up giving you this really nice overall radiant look. For wear, the stuff lasts 
a long time. It maintains its wear and its radiant look for well over 10 hours. I actually put a little swatch of it on my arm when I was testing these out and I wore it all day. It was still there when I got home from work and I actually took a shower and then woke up the next morning and that swatch was still there a little bit. So this stuff has some serious staying power. Eventually it does start to break down a tiny, tiny bit around maybe dry patches or maybe around your nose, but in general, it really maintains its look really well. It's funny because I remember trying this foundation when it first came out and not really liking it. I know when it first came out, there were only two shades. Now they have about five shades, so I'm not really sure if they changed the formula a little bit too. I will say even the lightest shade is a little bit still on the dark side if you are fair skinned like me. But either way, I really enjoyed using this foundation the second time around. I found it really comfortable. I really liked the long wear of it, and I really liked the sort of radiant, glowing look gave to my skin. Our final contender into the ring is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which costs only about four or five dollars and it comes in 15 different shades. So there is lots of color options out there for you. It comes in a glass bottle with a little applicator that's kind of like a plastic spoon. And the formula claims that it was specially made for a matte, light diffusing complex that's supposed to give your skin the perfect complexion. The formula has this really sort of silky soft feeling. It's a lot like the Bare Minerals Bare Skin if you've ever used that foundation. Although as far as coverage and application, it's not like that one at all. I find that it gives more coverage than that. This foundation gives pretty decent coverage in the first application and you can build it to a sort of medium to medium full coverage. Once it sets, it has this really pretty demi matte finish and I think it looks really nice and natural. And as far as its wear, it wears really nicely throughout the day. I would say you can get eight to 10 hours out of this before it starts to break down. Mind you, I have dry skin, so I don't have to worry about oiliness, but typically foundations will start to break down for me around dry patches. So that's kind of like what I base this off of. For me, I could get through like my entire work day, run a few errands and come home. And by the time I washed my face, it was maybe breaking down just a tiny bit. I was honestly pleasantly surprised with this foundation that only cost $5. All right guys, that was all four of our cruelty-free drugstore foundations duking out in the ring. Let's talk about winners. First, the obvious loser for me of this was the NYX one. Not only was it expensive, but it just didn't really do anything special for me. Probably gonna return it and get my 18 bucks back. Next up was the Milani one. I honestly am like on the fence about this one because it really did give a nice look and it weared really well. Like the stuff, like I said, is crazy bulletproof, but it's kind of uncomfortable to wear. And then the range of colors to choose from was really lacking. That leaves us with Wet n Wild and Physicians Formula. I'm gonna have to say that for me, the Wet n Wild Foundation was the winner of this battle. Well, I really liked the Physicians Formula for that sort of like radiant glowy look that it gave. It was considerably more expensive, three times more expensive than the Wet n Wild one. And the color range options were not quite there for me on this one. I wish there was a couple more color options to choose from. So for me, that's why the Wet n Wild one wins. You only have to pay $5 for this foundation. And it honestly is beautiful, beautiful application. It lasts really well, you get tons of colors to choose from. And I just, I'm really glad that I tried this one out because it might be one of my new favorite drugstore foundations. So there you guys have it. If you thought a different foundation was a winner than the one that I picked, let me know in the comments down below. As always, let me know what you would like to see me battle out next. If this is your first time landing on my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll get notified every time there's a new video I post every single Sunday. I make videos about things that are going to save you time and save you money. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.